Master Zark. You've been gone for quite a while. How are you feeling? Happy 2953, I guess. Thousands of people, all of them looking to celebrate an authentic Banu Luminalia, including traditional food and staying up late, sharing stories about times past. A week free of technology to reconnect with your senses. They say it makes the light seem brighter. Over the years, the Beacon Banu has become popular in the tech industry. It's a yearly event where you can escape from being constantly online and reconnect with life and the spirit of the holiday. But these tech junkies still want their little kick though. So, it's designed for participants to be dropped off at different locations around the moon Calliope to navigate manually to the party site using old and almost forgotten techniques, like reading the night sky and planetary magnetic fields. Navigating around Calliope for days doesn't appeal to me very much, so I pay this pilot a little extra to drop me off much closer to the party than intended. Not too close, so they don't catch me cheating. So, while everyone else is already out there driving, and has been for days, I'm here. All right, Chief, and we're I'm here. Whoa! Check it out. That's just unbelievable. That looks good. Keep her steady. Have fun out there. The weather shit, though. Roger that. Here we go. You even have to leave your mobile glass back home. How cool is that? However, I couldn't pass up the chance to document the trip, so I brought a camera and a drone. And hopefully, they're low-tech enough so I don't get thrown out. But drone or no drone, this, this landscape, just conveys such solitude. I can't wait to see this setup. In fact, the party is just across this ridge here. Check this out. What? He said it was just across here. Okay, so it's not here. What do I do? I think I put a map in my bag somewhere. Where is it? Aha! Uh, well, it's supposed to be right here. But it's not, so I guess I'll have to go to, uh... Hmm. Hey. RSI? Voice command? Ursa? Navigate to Shubin Mining Facility SMC 8 6. Invalid destination. Invalid? Navigate to uh, Shubin Mining Facility SMC 8 8 instead. Invalid destination. Huh? Ursa, what's my nearest point of interest? Loveridge Mineral Reserve. The what reserve? Repeat. Loveridge Mineral Reserve. Ursa, what is my location? Lyria, Arcorp Moon, Stanton System. I'm on the wrong fucking moon? I'm sorry, I did not understand. Please issue clear commands or ask me a question. Oh, shut up. Ursa, activate the stress signal. Moby glass not found. Host ship out of range. Please return to the host ship. Be kidding to activate me. a distress signal. Are you serious? Yes. Fuck. Ursa, do you have any communication equipment? The unit is equipped with short range peer to peer radio and positional pulsar system. Ursa, how far is leverage mineral reserve? 240 hours at maximum speed. Band duel. How long until I run out of oxygen? At this pace, you will run out of oxygen in 453 hours. Okay. And how long will your battery last? At normal operation, Ursa has approximately 500 hours of battery life. All right. Well, I guess this is my holiday. 
Ursa, navigate to Loveridge Mineral Reserve. Destination found. Navigation started. Ursa, how long until we reach our destination? 238 hours at maximum speed. Maximum speed. I'm going half speed now. So that would be 450 hours. I need to sleep a third of that time, so that's plus 50%. 675 hours. Split on 24. That's a whole freaking month? Ursa, if I drive at half speed for 16 hours every standard Earth day, how long until I arrive at Leverage? 29.75 days, or 714 hours. Well, that's what I get for going with the cheapest pilot and the cheapest Ursa when trying to cheat a system where you can't bring modern technology. <sighs> no more surprises. Please? Okay? Okay. So, 700 hours. Ursa, remind me about power and oxygen levels. At normal operation, you have 497 hours of power, 450 hours of oxygen. And 6,000 hours of pure galactic hit music on board. I'm sorry. Just say, Ursa, charge my account for black hole bangers. Only five what the hell is going on? Ads? Say yes today, pay later. There's no way. Now. Ursa. Ursa. No miss. Ursa. Only hits. No nos, only is this for yes. real? This is disgusting. Say yes, say hits. God, piece of shit, Rover. Oxygen. Still big problems, but at least I got one lucky break. Check this out. I found them a couple days ago. Hundreds of snaggle sticks, and maybe around 25 bottles of water, which is not a lot, but actually I could just fill them up outside. Hang on. Uh, Ursa? Is the ice outside made of drinkable water? Yes. Ah. And is the air breathable? No. I knew that. Ursa? How do you actually know these things? I have an onboard Galactopedia archive, updated whenever I'm stationed at a host ship or garage. The current version is five days old. Fair enough. Oh, and also, I've hooked up my spacesuit to transfer some of its oxygen supply over to the rover. Still have 25 days to go, though. But maybe this is good for me. Might teach me something about myself, you know? Wait. She said she has access to the whole Galactopedia archive, right? Hmm. Ursa? Can you read me the Galactopedia article on Terra 3, please? Yes. Terra is the third planet from the sun of the Terra system. Wait, 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 wait. Ursa, my name is Oliver. Think you could use that? Yes, Oliver. Continue reading, please. Terra is the third planet from the sun of the Terra system. Naturally habitable, it was colonized shortly after its discovery in 2516 and has since become the most populous planet in the United Empire of Earth, as well as a center of culture and commerce. Terra's political leaders played key roles in the movement that ended the despotic rule of the Messer era. Today, Terra remains a center of progressive politics 
and is home to the Transitionalist political party. Read the uh, Galactopedia article on Prime, please. Yes, Oliver. Prime is the capital city of Terra and is considered a cultural and economic center of the United Empire of Earth. Utilizing extensive urban planning, it has been designed to strike a harmonious balance between nature and city. Since the fall of the Messer government in 2792, there have been a vocal contingent of populace vying to make Prime So, I figured while it's playing, it's time to refill the water bottles. I'm really hoping this ice is pure though, because after seven days of only eating snackle sticks, my mind is starting to play tricks on me. Like sounds being a bit distorted, and yeah, things like that. I'm glad I have the Ursa to confirm things with. Anyways, let's scoop here. And scoop. And scoop. And scoop, one, two, three, and... Oxygen full. Ursa? Are my vials being transmitted to you? Yes. What's my oxygen level? Oxygen is at 100%. How can that be? According to Galactopedia, Lyria's atmosphere has enough oxygen for most commercial pressure suits to use it to replenish their oxygen reserves. Really? I thought you said the atmosphere wasn't breathable. It's not. The atmospheric pressure is almost zero. I'll live? I'll live? I don't have to die. Did you hear that? I'll remember all of this. Ursa, let's fill up your tanks. Yes, Oliver. Oxygen tank full. Current capacity, 500 hours. And how long before we arrive at leverage? 504 hours. Your chances of survival have increased. 500 hours is a long time without music. No ads, only premium music. Sign up today. Black Hole Bangers. Charge your count, 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 count today. There's a sign me up, please. Congratulations. You have signed up for our three-year premium plan at 990 credits weekly. Three years? These people have no shame. Though, it is awfully quiet here. There's a... Play some black hole bangers. Oh, wow. There's a next. There's a next. So what was that? From the sound it made, and how the wheel came off, there is an 85% chance we hit a piece of metal. The wheel came off? Yes. What was it? Inconclusive data. Let's try the gas. Damn it. Please, Ursa. 
Can you hear me? Yes. Do you see the wheel? No, but there's something giving off steam or smoke back here. What is it? I'm not sure. Let me get closer. We had a senator back on Terra, Lenora Royce, and she once said, if you want to see where humanity's been, you visit Seoul. If you want to see where it's going, you visit Terra. Growing up, whenever I treated someone badly or needed some motivation, my mom, she always said this quote, adding that the quote refers to its people too. So as a turn, we're meant to behave like what we want humanity to become in the future. There's a whole crashed freighter here. You're doing great. Right. Right. I don't see any bullet holes here or damage from any weapons. Do you see any crew? No. Don't say that. <sighs> There's a weird box here. Weird how? It has lights and it's tilted a little bit on its side. Does it open? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check it out. Can you carry it? I'll bring it back. <laughs> oh, but it's, it's a body. Get away from there. I found the wheel we lost too. It was right outside. I'm glad. Oxygen low. Oxygen low. Oxygen low. Looks like it's locked. All right. Let's see here. Toys. Oh my. <laughs> That's so not worth it. This is so shit. It's not all shit. You know, I could use those power clips in there. Oh, you're right. Well, it's awesome. Ursa, play some music. Absolutely, Oliver. Freeze, Ursa. Hey, I pulled on you first. I'm sorry. Stay still. I'm calling the advocacy. Psych. I say dead. Snaggle, cause Sam, you don't know where I am. Where are you? You can't see me. Oh no, look out. <laughs> Happy Luminalia. Happy Luminalia. I hope someone sees your flare. Yeah, no one will see it. Oh no. Are you okay? <laughs> so what was that? I don't know, Oliver. Oh, it's the drone. I think it must have run out of juice. Oxygen low. It weighs too much. All right. Oxygen low. I am Oliver Zark, and you're watching Hubware Galactic. Here are tonight's headlines. I'm stranded on a moon in the middle of nowhere on a moon. The wheels keep turning and Snagglestick stock are on the rise. Oliver? 
You're not driving. Surely I am. No, you're not. Oliver! Mom? You need to get up. Now! <laughs> Ursa! Where are you? I need more water. Your suit is broken. I need to go outside. You're already low on oxygen. I need water, you piece of fucking metal garbage. Don't I? I'm not myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Your suit can make a five-minute walk. It's too bad ice takes up more space than water. Because when these melt, they're only half full. But it's the same volume. Ursa, can you lower the cabin pressure to extend the time we have oxygen? If you continue to breathe normally, yes. And how would that affect me? You would feel fatigue, tiredness, and some degree of confusion. Would it be dangerous? No. According to Galactopedia, humans have for millennia been able to live in low-pressure environments, like on pre-quantum Earth. Civilizations at high altitudes have been recorded living healthy lives at 0.5 atmospheric pressure. And what would I have to set it to? 0.6. All right. Let's do it. Ursa, lower the cabin pressure to 0.6 atmospheres. Right away, Oliver. Ah! <laughs> what do you say? Are you okay? Do I look okay? Whatever. Ursa? How much longer to love Rich Mineral? Three days or 72 hours. And what about power and oxygen? You have 67 hours of power and 64 hours of oxygen. I'm sorry, Oliver. It's fine. I was just so sure I was going to make it. I know. You know, you've been really supportive. I wouldn't have made it this far without you. It's been a pleasure, really. I'm sad you'll forget about me. Yeah. Me too. If you disabled the onboard voice control, and all of its subsystems, including navigation, you'd have enough power. Ursa, when would you have to go offline to give me enough power? Within 18 hours. And after that, I just, what, drive in a straight line? Yes. And what about the cabin pressure? You'll need to lower it to 0.4 atmospheres. Can I survive that? Low pressure adapted humans cannot survive below 0.3. Depending on your genetics and how well you have adapted to low pressure, a value of 0.4 could be possible for you. But it would be extremely uncomfortable and confusing. All right. Ursa, slowly lower the cabin pressure to point four.
control your breathing, Oliver. Oliver, stop! It's time. Listen carefully. I've brought you to a special spot. When the sun rises, you have to chase your shadow. After Zenith, you chase the sun. If you don't make it before the second sunset, you'll suffocate during the night. Oliver, are you listening? You are a Terran. I'll see you again soon. Perfect timing. So far, so good. Easy enough instructions. Um, great weather, fancy food, and a good mood. I spy with my little eye something beginning with I. Um, uh, ignition. Uh, 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 ice. Ice? So when the sun comes up in four hours, I'm on my last chance. At least, according to uh, a trustworthy car I am known for three weeks. <laughs> uh, this is hard. No matter what you do, you're gonna break my heart. Break my heart. Wow, oh, it's spinning so fast. I better go sit in the driver's seat so I don't fall asleep. Uh, uh. Huh? Let's see. Oh. I'm gonna walk all the way over there. And do you guys want to know the hardest place to be right now? It actually burns. <laughs> mm. 
no. 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 Oh. <gasps> there it is. It is it's actually there. <laughs> Chief, we're here. We got a four weeks delayed distress call from your Ursa. Are you okay? Don't I know you from somewhere? I hear that a lot. I need one Demexa train and two oxy pens. Hold still. Are you okay to walk out to the Pisces? Oh yeah. I think so. Don't worry. It'll all be fine. <laughs> I'll fly us back to Bygenie, and Lucia will take care of you during the flight. You're so lucky to have signed up for our premium service. Control your breathing, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs>